So what's the truth, man? Do artificial sweeteners actually spike your blood sugar? Got me. So let's put it to the test. <sighs> Beautiful thing is, if this doesn't work, nobody's never gonna see it. <laughs> Beautiful thing is, if this doesn't work, nobody's ever gonna see it. What do you think, baby? You think our blood sugar is gonna be okay? We gotta mix it up. We gotta shot the muscle. But we can't forget these. Round two. Good. Two, three. Good. Oh my gosh. I'm dying. So this is not working <laughs> like I thought it might. But you know what, man? I stand, uh, I stand corrected. I feel the sugar rushing through my veins. You should. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna be like, yeah. Is it gonna be 100, 150? I think we're hitting time? triple digits on this next three yeah, day, man. I think wow. so. Man. Busted. Well, let's get to the bottom of this in the only way that we know how with a little F cubed Q&A. Question number one. So Jim, man, what's going on here, dude? Like I thought with artificial sweeteners and insulin, the diet soda insulin response was supposed to be zero. Well, you and me both, bro. I mean, even the American Diabetes Association says that diet drinks shouldn't raise blood sugar. So honestly, I don't know. Question number two, come on, man. You've got to give me more than that. What do you think happened? All right, man, well, since you're digging a little bit, I think a couple things are going on. First up, sometimes these diet drinks that are labeled zero calorie actually contain a trace amount of calories. Now, by law, food companies are actually able to round down to zero which, from a marketing standpoint, is pretty convenient. But also, with something like a Splenda packet, I mean, that guy has a little less than one carb per packet. So while it's labeled as calorie free, you better believe there's a couple sneaky little carbs hiding in there. So in the end, it may have actually been this tiny little amount of calories and carbs that drove my insulin up ever so slightly rather than the artificial sweeteners themselves. Or, truth be told, I was working with a $30 off-brand glucose monitor that was on sale on Amazon, of course, and so this could have very easily just been a product fail. And lastly, question number three. All right, Jim, you just stole five minutes of my life that I'm never getting back. And I'm not quite sure what I should take away from this. Well, I'll give you three things that you can take away from this. A, Diet Pepsi upon waking, delicious. Which, let's be honest, is really no different than any other time of the day. B, don't automatically assume that those five-star ratings on Amazon actually mean anything. And C, Regardless of the problem, regardless of the question, the answer, always Splenda. Three quarters of a carb or not, more Splenda equals more sweet 
Sweet joy. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this little blood sugar adventure. As always, man, I appreciate you guys so much, man. Hit me with that like, hit me with that share, hit me with that subscribe, and coming up next, enjoy this little macro hacks video that's gonna start right now.